Hello there. Um, there's been some interest um, since my last talks on uh, Pluto-Saturn conjunction coming up and um, people have been asking me all kinds of things. I'm going to be doing a, a series of uh, lectures in London soon too. Uh, but what I thought I would do is um, take a uh, a few people, a few notable charts, uh, so that we can see how this uh, Pluto-Saturn conjunction soon to be arriving in uh, 2020, although it's here anyway, Saturn is about 21, uh, Pluto is about 23, but they stay together for quite a while with retrograde periods. This is a strong and uh, powerful conjunction in the skies at the moment, uh, and we'll be transiting various points on people's chart. So that I thought that I would look at a series of charts over this uh, coming um, series of videos to discuss this Pluto-Saturn in some detail. And so that the, the, those viewing or those interested can see how it actually pans out in practice in the lives or charts of those people that I've been talking about. So, for example, in the EU chart, which was the uh, Maastricht Treaty of 1993, we have uh, Pluto, Saturn, coming up to trine that moon in Taurus, in uh, 24 Taurus in the 10th house. Uh, and if, if you remember, it, it goes over the 19 degree Capricorn Uranus Neptune conjunction. So Pluto Saturn has been stirring that up. It's as if the ideological dream of the union, this um, uh, this taking over of, of of a larger corporate body, all very Capricornian, in a kind of control state. Uh, and I've linked also the Pluto Saturn to the deep state, or something that really needs to come out into the open to be transformed. But there's a power behind the throne. Um, I rather like um, a recent thing I saw on one of Julian Assange's team. Uh, I think he comes from the Netherlands. So he, um, um, I think I'm right in saying that. But the, um, he mentioned the other day that uh, uh, Julian Assange has been imprisoned in Belmarsh Jail and uh, he's not allowed out, you know, about 23 hours a day. This I called Pluto opposite his Mercury the incarcerated voice. And Pluto, um, Pluto Saturn, uh, the Pluto Saturn conjunction is opposed to um, Assange's Mercury in the ninth house, and this refers to a um, a, a, a massive uh, a pressure uh, opposing his unique and individual voice in the ninth house. And there's an interesting thing here that uh, this also is in the chart of America, uh, the USA chart, um, uh, the Sibley chart uh, with the Sagittarius ascended. We also have Mercury around about the 24th degree. So um, Assange's Mercury and the Mercury of the United States chart are in conjunction. And so therefore this Pluto opposite to it. Um, this Pluto Saturn opposite to this uh, conjunct, this uh, Mercury, is something to do with the free speech. It's a, a lot to do with publishing. It's a lot to do with um, who has the right to dig beneath the surface of consciousness to reveal what's going on underneath G general consensus reality. Um, it's a difficult thing to do because I talked about the law of unintention unintentional consequences. And um, when we uh, look into this, um, most countries, most countries, politicians and all of that business have, have an underlying power structure. And uh, I'm not sure who it was that said uh, politics is war by other means. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't like to be in politics. I certainly wouldn't uh, like to be in those situations where I have, uh, uh, where I'm in charge rather, rather like the CIAs and the MI5s and uh, uh, Mossad and the KGB. It's probably a new one now. Um, 
but all of these secret organizations underneath which have assassination squads and they carry out the dirty deeds of a country sometimes for power sometimes to create the balance of power in the world sometimes just hegemony uh, or, or a fear of um, uh, 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 con uh, control by other countries all of this these wars are going under underneath and are being played out often in unfair and terribly um, uh, cruel ways you know, we're told one thing of course on the surface but underneath there's this hive of cruelty and activity all taking place at a subterranean level and given to these secret societies such as I say the, the various elements of the CIA the all of that business and so for somebody to be poking around in that um, uh, to reveal all the secrets of what's going on is is a difficult business and you're likely to produce uh, produce a reaction from those forces that don't want to be seen. It's rather like bringing um, somebody out into the light, um, you know, the hydra in the cave, and uh, uh, the only way that uh, the Hercules can um, kill kill the um, hydra in the cave is to is to bring bring that out, and is to feign he feigns a kind of weakness, and so he's just about to be hit upon him, and then he he, he cuts off a head and scorches the head, and so it doesn't grow back. There's uh, many ways to kill a dragon, but uh, I wouldn't like to oppose one if I could help it. So these are the dragons in society, these um, difficult elements, and it's very difficult to um, judge exactly what their place is in, in the fabric of our society and our politics. Um, Freud, although Freudian psychology has not uh, gained ascendancy in the latter half of the 20th century. There was still a lot of, of stuff that he found out and wrote about, which is rather uh, true. Uh, for example, that the he, what he called the id was this uh, this uh, underlying cauldron of seething instinctual energy of kill or be killed of the reptilian brainstem in us in in our survival instinct in our sexuality and our, our need for dominance and power and this all uh, this, this this whole mechanism in the evolutionary chain of of of, of man um, and both and by that I mean including women there's this deep instinctual instinctual processes which are the lying underneath which are fighting for survival and when these uh, come out they overrun the ego they are cruel they are um, uh, forces of evolutionary change in us. They change the emotional states. It's as if some instinctual realm here is fighting for, for survival. When this is, is tapped off or poked around, uh, it comes out like the beast that it is. Of course, humanity is also a civilizing agent in um, supposed to be a civilizing agent in evolution and uh, we hope that uh, this instinctual force of pluto the collective survival instinct it comes around it creeps around a chart and it it calls out of the planet or calls across to it and challenges it with the with the threat of death or lack of survival Saturn comes round to a, a, a oppose a planet and it challenges it to see how strong it is, usually by a, some kind of oppressive means or task or hard work or something. So there's a block or an obstacle in the way. Saturn, therefore, is our, both our greatest teacher and our, and our most difficult teacher uh, because he ch shows you, so it's rather like a, I like uh, Saturn transits to a, a, a building inspector. He comes round and has a look at the foundations and has a look at the side and the gate and the front door. And, and he, he checks out every room in the house in accordance with the, the planet, sees, sees how stable or not it is, see how, the, see how real it is in terms of its strength and its capabilities and if any if, if he's testing out any planet something will come along to test out just how um, um, just how strong or able or real that planet is I um, I used to do a lecture with about Saturn transits called finding your faults and as Saturn moves around he certainly shows up the faults but if we're not shown up if we're not criticized 
if we're not challenged, then we will never develop. We will never contain any, uh, have any strength. We will never uh, achieve any self-discipline um, uh, in, in order to counteract the um, difficulties and existential realities of living. So those two, anyway, the Pluto and the Saturn, I've had another go at there to try and uh, invoke in us what kind of uh, energies are there. It challenges us to our sexual uh, energies, our, our powers of dominance or not. And But on a larger collective level, these are the forces of the state. That Capricornian administrative structure uh, that keeps nation states together, the governments, the the institutionalized forces of power. And if we play around them, we play around them at our peril. But sometimes humanity needs to raise its individual voice because uh, those set structures also need to change and transform lest they turn into a, a, a kind of a critical, um, what you might call an autonomous complex within the uh, structure of society. And when they become autonomous, they become not connected to the whole of, of humanity. One can almost see the whole of humanity as a kind of single organism or a psyche. And different parts, but different countries play different parts in the in the um, in the dynamics and in the, the the evolution of the world. And if one part has become um, uh, uh, too too dominant, uh, too uh, heavy in its in it in its reaction, too um, self-centered, cut off from the rest of humanity, it becomes dissociated from it. it becomes uh, a law unto itself. What uh, Jung called a dissociated complex, and therefore it runs its own um, organizations, its own its own subversive ends become um, cut off and hidden. And somebody like Julian Assange pokes into that, uh, brings it out, and shows what's going on beneath the surface of those forces of power in different nation states, just as much as in Russia, just as much as in the um, uh, United States, as in England, just as much as in the EU, the power structures underlying it, or in China. This isn't focused on any particular nation or country, but it shows where hegemony, power, dominance, and uh, this attempt to brutalize those which don't come under that dominant power. That's the, that's the what's in, in operation here at the moment with this Pluto-Saturn. It also calls us as individuals to confront our own uh, shadows, to confront our own need for dominance or power or a sense of weakness and so on, and how we also give in to those latent, nor not so latent, uh, forces of control and power over others just to kind of make up for uh, our own lack or sense of weakness. The superiority, inferiority complex that um, Adler so pointed out is uh, particularly relevant here, and I probably be going into, into more of this in more detail in forthcoming videos about this Saturn and Pluto combined. See you next video.